Hi internet, I'm Udoka. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh, Let, let's cue the um, the intro. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I talk about literally whatever I want to talk about. I am experimenting with program software, lighting, everything. Honestly, today I am going to react to, I know, Trisha Paytas. Oh, I don't like her. Um, I don't like watching anything about her, but she is doing manifestation content. And I used to be really into manifestation content. I even tried my hand at being a manifestation YouTube channel. And I just completely stopped because I was doing it wrong. <laughs> I was doing it completely wrong. Um, and I ended up like falling into a really deep depression because of it. I'll talk. I think I, I want to react to these Trisha videos because I think it will spur a conversation about this manifestation stuff that um, is worth having, especially if you're still into it. Like if you're still into it or you're like trying to get into it. There are things that these manifestation people will not tell you. They won't explain to you. They'll give you bullshit answer. So anyway, let's just take, let's just take a look. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I don't even know where to begin with what she got going on, honey. Uh, let's see. It's not. Um, um, and I'm reading more of the secret. Pause. Mm -hmm. doing TikToks and then pause. Okay. Also, I forgot to say. If you're going to subscribe, subscribe because you like my vibe. Because like I mentioned, I am always changing. Like, I am always changing. I'm about to pay money for editing software. Okay, like, I do not, I do not know the direction of my channel. All I know is that I personally am on my own journey to living a very comfortable, fulfilling exciting, luxurious, bougie, whatever kind of life. And this YouTube channel over the years has been an attempt at sharing that with the world and me failing miserably every step along the way. <laughs> so I'm finally in a position where I, where I, I am not struggling as much as I was my entire life, which is why I'm able to post multiple times a week now. So anyway, if you vibe, subscribe. That's all I got to say. Now, she posted this, just self-titled Law of Attraction. She posted this three weeks ago. Let's see what's going on. Let me just read a, just a little bit more of the secret. I read a little bit about it here, you know, every day now. Um, I also have a journal downstairs where I've been writing down my manifestations, but like I read this book before and it definitely changed my life. I definitely believe in the power of manifestation, but now more than ever, I truly, truly believe it today. I was reading the part about, basically it's, it's a law. It's the law of attraction and no one can avoid certain laws, like the law of gravity. They That's funny because she said on the podcast, she didn't know what gravity was, but, um, <laughs> And why it needs to exist and that it doesn't apply to her. But anyways, um, I want to do a brief thing about the actual book, The Secret. It's written by Rhonda Brine. And the unfortunate thing about it is that The Secret is really associated with a lot of scams. Um, it's associated with a lot of people who sell info products. Um, what an info product is, it's like an ebook, and then they might try to upsell you to a coaching program, and they might try to upsell you to a retreat. Like, it's just info product, it's when you're not selling a service, you're just selling either a, your, your idea in a written form or a, you know, video form. And oftentimes, I mean, there are info products about a specific thing, right? Or a specific how to do something. 
which is its own conversation because there are scams even in that area. But when it comes to something like law of attraction, which is very subjective, it is like there's no there's no measure. There's nothing you can be you can say to be like, oh, I read this book and I did what it said and it didn't work. Like there's no measurement of how good is this information. It's it's literally just an idea. It's just an idea. And people are creating like expensive ebooks and e-courses based on this very subjective idea. <laughs> um, so, and also I can't get over the fact that The Secret is literally based on the works of Abraham Hicks. Abraham, Jerry and Esther, Abraham Hicks. Let me show you guys. Okay, Abraham Hicks. Okay, Esther, her husband passed. So now it's just Esther, but this was her husband. And Esther would channel some, I don't know, some prophets that are mildly related to the Abrahamic religions. And she would channel them and they would give their wisdom through her. Now, when I was trying to get into this manifestation stuff, it was, I was going through the motions, not understanding what the motions were for. And it actually just made me really depressed and made me really like, I was just so disillusioned with it. And I unsubscribed from all the young, the youngins. When I say youngins, I'm talking about like Leo Alexandra, I unsubscribed from her. All these youngins with rich parents, Lior Alexandra, um, Aaron, what's his name? Dodie. I know they were boyfriend and girlfriend at some time. All of these young, um, all of these young kids, I unsubscribed from all of them because they were pissing me off. There was this one girl named Sam something. Is it Sam Oz? Os Is this her? Sam Oscural. Yeah, she she was trying to do law of attraction content. Um, she's Sam was just really trying to be that girl. She like her whole YouTube channel, she's just trying to be that girl. So when manifestation stuff was in vogue on YouTube, she was just trying to hop on the train. But I unsubscribed from all of these kids and I just focus on the basics, which Abraham Hicks um is the basics. Whether or not you believe she's channeling something or not, you have to admit that she gives she gives advice that just really helps you calm down and just it, she the advice that she gives just of life is just a really nice perspective. And if you want to learn about law of attraction, I highly recommend. I highly recommend that you just type law of attraction, Abraham Hicks and listen. And they're even like, she goes on tour. So people ask her questions about law of attraction, listen to her answers. Um, and then of secondary people to follow. Honestly, I just follow people who are older and, and there's this one lady, what's her name? Black and Bendy girl. I don't remember her name. There are the there are these secondary channels I do follow. I follow people. I like following people of color who are older and and it's it's a lot of white women in this space and I prefer you know older white women who are older like you just you are older than 35 at least you know like bonus points if you have children. I just prefer to hear more experienced people discuss law of attraction because they tend to discuss it in a way that's actually realistic and makes sense. Um, so anyway, the reason why I brought up Abraham Hicks is because the secret is from the secret is straight up Abraham Hicks. Like literally that chick who wrote the book copy and paste basically from from Abraham Hicks and put it in a book. And then when she made the movie, she cut out all the parts with Abraham Hicks in it. I'm like, I'm like, trick you did. <laughs> I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. I don't know what's, I don't know what's up with her. What is Rhonda Bryan doing now? Rhonda, Rhonda Bryan, 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 
She's Australian. Hey, what are you doing? She uploaded something. She uploaded something three months ago. What are you My doing? Hand, this was in Australia. And then I would walk down the street with the $20 looking for. Girl. Uh, anyway, I don't even like listening to her type of love attraction. She, I don't know. She's a fake. She's a phony to me. It's a lot of people who use this law of attraction to sell nothing. And then they get rich of that, off of that nothing. And so it's like, to a certain extent, it's like, hmm. So people who are successful at using law of attraction are low-key scam artists. Or, you know, like just they're okay with doing bullshit and making money off of it is reminding us of somebody so i just wanted to give a little background about the actual the book example. the secret you fall from a building it doesn't matter if you're a good person bad person like the law of gravity is going to get you right and that's the same thing for law of attraction it doesn't matter if you're a good bad person like how you change your thinking and your your mindset will determine the law right and so today they were talking about i uh, she misspoke that's the you don't determine a law <laughs> Your mindset and how you live determines how the law works for or against you. How you are, how you can control, because it says you have 60,000 thoughts a day. So to control 60,000 thoughts a day seems like a lot, right? But you can control, and I got a lot of emails about my secret video, like whatever I posted it, it was yesterday, but maybe you it'll be a while like a week since you've seen it and so many people are like thank you for this i really needed this and like honestly like i need it too which is why i'm like saying this and repeating this yeah so this is um i know bell aubrey likes to talk about toxic positivity and my i know i know what this is like i know what it's like when you're making positive content but you're making it because you you need to hear it like you're just you're just making content to help yourself. I know what that's like. Um, and so once you're in this space where you're trying to wrap your head around this new concept and you're sharing it and you're sharing it to a larger platform, there's an aspect of you that's delusional. There's an aspect of you that has suspended your disbelief so, so that you can try to learn this new concept. There's an aspect of you that doesn't fully get it. You're not fully on board, but it, it's making you feel good in the moment. So you want to try, you want to try. And since it's making you feel good in the moment, you you're sharing it because it, you might help other people feel good or whatever. So I like, gosh, like I, I, I relate to how she's currently feeling like, Oh my gosh, I may have found the answers. Um, and this is why I don't like, this is why I don't like listening to certain type of people discuss this type of content because you think you found the answers when you actually, it's the tip of the iceberg and you don't know what you're talking about. Um, but like your feelings, how you're feeling, which you can be guilt, you can be anger, that can be the bad feelings or the good feelings of excitement and joy, how you're feeling can control your thoughts. So if you're, you can't, you can't have a good feeling and think bad thoughts, like you just can't, that it doesn't exist. So if you focus on the good feelings that you have every single day, you'll attract more of those. You have to be on the same frequency in life, right? Whatever frequency. Oh my gosh. I at. hate this. Fre so I hate this narrative about the frequency thing. So what I think what she's trying to say is you can't control your thoughts because you have over 60,000 thoughts. I mean, I saw another study that said you have 90,000 thoughts, whatever. Like we, nobody actually cares how many thoughts that you have. You just know you have them and you can't control all of them. So, um, this, this is like a, um, a psychological ph philosophy as well that your thoughts then, um, reflect into feelings. Um, there are other philosophies that say your feelings then reflect into thoughts. Um, so there's, I mean, we can have a discourse about that, but who cares? Um, the point is that you are trying to, f um, feel good. You're trying to feel good as good as possible. Abraham Hicks actually has this feeling scale that helps me a lot. It personally helps me. Um, Mm, let's see if I can find it. Abraham Hicks, Vortex, Feelings. 
So Abraham Hicks calls it the vortex. Okay, this is just an example. This is just this is just an example. But it like it has Ooh, girl, let me show you. So it has a scale of feelings. There's negative feelings, positive feelings. By the way, this makes this reminds me so much of Scientology. I was never a member of Scientology, but I visited the girl, I need to charge my computer. I visited the I visited Scientology twice because I was I wanted to make YouTube I wanted to make a YouTube video about it and then girl I don't make YouTube videos so I never made the YouTube video but they're not lying when once you once you write your name and number on anything Scientology girl they have your, they have it for life I have told them verbally remove my name I don't want a thing to do with the fucking church like quote unquote church right and girl they still be calling me they still be calling me and there was this one lady i met at that ch at the church of scientology she is she's a monk she's a scientology monk or nun I, I don't know what you call it and she is literally the most be beautiful soul i've ever seen like the most positive peppy up like <gasps> sweetest warming loving like oh my gosh and i'm like i need your phone number because you are just so precious but she's always trying to peddle scientology stuff and it's like oh my gosh i just want you like i do not want scientology i just i want to chat with you i want a relationship with you but when you're part of a cult you are the you and the cult are one like you assume the identity of the of the cult and it's really hard for people to actually get to know you so i don't know i still have her on my phone one day but i i don't i don't call her because i don't want her to be like oh you can come to this event anyway so but this is not related to Church of Scientology. It just reminded me of it because Church of Scientology has something like this as well. But so here's the idea. There's negative emotions like feelings of guilt, insecurity, jealousy. And you can kind of rank them like um, frustration is not as bad as feeling guilt, right? And then there's positive emotions like um, hopefulness is good. Joy is even better, right? And so when you're feeling and you want to attract more positive things of course if you're feeling good you're going to you're more likely to attract something good why because you're smiling people like smiles um you have a positive outlook so you make decisions based on that positive outlook rather than based on the negative outlook i mean there's so many logical reasons as to why it makes sense that having feeling positive will lead to a more positive experience of the day. So when you're trying to do that and you're trying to be that, it doesn't help you when you're feeling when you're feeling negative. But also just saying I'm happy, it's not going to make you happy when you're mad. Like that actually will make you that will make you feel worse. So what they do, they call it the vortex and they just want you to take just spiral it they want you to spiral up, like gain momentum of spiraling up your emotions. So if you're feeling angry, then okay, can you go a step above angry? Like what 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 do you need to not feel angry, but maybe you feel doubtful? But feeling doubtful is not as bad as feeling angry. So okay, let, like what do you need to go from angry to doubtful? What do you need to go from doubtful to, to a little frustrated? What do you need to go from frustrated to, hmm, there's silver lining. What do you need to go from silver lining to, hmm, I believe something good can happen. What does it take for you to go from I believe something good can happen to having hope? What does it take to go from hope to, to being optimistic, to being enthusiastic, to... And you, and you can spiral up or at least be a little bit better than what you were earlier. So this personally has helped me a lot, especially when I was working in an office where you had to be all smiles all the time. This got me through a lot. Um, so, so... That is so funny. They have similar phenotypes. Look at their eyes and their hair color. Anyway, 
Is she a na- is is Trisha Paytas a natural blonde? I don't know, but I don't like the frequency thing because I I don't like when people start talking about quantum physics. Like I like no law of attraction is not quantum physics. You don't know anything about you don't know astrophysicists feel like they don't know anything about quantum physics, let alone you, let, let alone you. You don't know anything about quantum physics. Stop calling law of attraction quantum physics and stop quoting that one um, split screen experiment where the dude um, was able to see the electrons behave differently. I might be speaking way over your head, but Basically, what I'm trying to say is when they try to make this law of attraction thing scientifical, that's not a word, but fine. Um, uh, smelling the bullshit, smell the bullshit and know that person's full of shit. I don't like this frequency thing. If what you want is world domination and you need to be on the same frequency, um, you don't need to feel good. You know, like Hitler, am I allowed to say this dude's name on YouTube. Anyway, that dude, that dictator um, was not feeling good. That dictator became a dictator because he was feeling bad all the time. Okay, like, I don't I don't like the talk of being on the same frequency. No, the, you don't need to be on the same frequency. Because listen, because that type of mentality, that type of uh, rhetoric is the rhetoric that would have kept me single. Okay, because, oh, okay, if you want X, Y, Z type of man, then you need to be on the same frequency. You need to be did 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 did. Actually, no, I didn't. I just needed to be myself. I just needed to be myself. And being myself attracts different people. And I choose the type of person I want. Um, and it, it's weird to be like, well, me, myself, I cannot attract a guy who's X, Y, Z. No, actually you can, you can, you can attract. So I, I don't like that frequency. I don't like that frequency. Be, be on the same frequency. I personally, I don't like that lingo. It doesn't, it doesn't put my mind in the right framework. Like if there's something that bad, a bad event that happened, like, yeah, we attracted those bad events in our lives. Like it's, it's a hard pill to swallow, but we attracted those that into our lives and we do that is something that is a huge debate with this law of attraction thing because it's like so you're telling me you're telling me people attracted genocide on their people like what um abraham hicks i forgot what abraham hicks said about it but i remember there was a live talk where abraham hicks basically it's like you know what like this methodology is, you know, there's like layers to it. There's levels to it. If you're going to take it as far as like your, your actual spirituality and your actual like religious belief, understanding of how the spiritual world works, there's levels to it. But when it comes to like regular everyday people who are not trying to have a religious understanding or a spiritual understanding. We're just trying to improve our lives. Um, this is kind of stupid in a way people find it helpful because it's like, okay, it's forcing me to take responsibility for my life. And I would more say, look at it as a way of your living. Don't, you don't necessarily need to look at it as a way of this is literally how the world works. Because if you do that, you begin to realize you have no idea what you're talking about. Un unless you've been studying this stuff and it's actually a part of your spiritual religious belief, you don't know what you're talking about. You just want to, um, make 10 grand this month. Okay. Like you do not need to get into how the world events have attracted itself to itself. Um, so the, the negative things that have happened in your life, um, you played a role in it because you made certain decisions that led to certain things happening. It's not saying that you could have known what would happen, right? Like how, how in the world would you have known that turning right on Robert street would lead to a car crash? But if you turn left instead, you'd be fine. Like, you know, so 
this aspect of it as well, I don't find helpful. The, as I just would see it as when something bad happens to you, just asking yourself, how did I attract, how did I attract this? Even that's kind of problematic, but what did I do to contribute to this negative situation? Maybe if you're, if you're even ready for that, that's that. And how do we do that? Is because we were like on a bad frequency. You're constantly scared. You're constantly paranoid. And I no, because you can be having a wonderful day and then horrible things happen to you on this beautiful, wonderful day. So y you see what I mean? Like that's, that's why I'm like, this law of attraction stuff is very easy to sound like you're stupid. <laughs> like with this law of attraction that's stuff. Shit so hard because like, I know I was attracting, like when I lived alone, like people coming to my house and stuff like that. Like, you have to like stop that. You guys are thinking of all the good, positive things. Like, okay, I'm in a safe neighborhood. I have a gate. You know, I... Um... Yeah, when you think about the positive things, that doesn't make the bad things no longer exist, though. So, <laughs> you know, and I used to play this gratitude game. Like, they used to say, you know, every morning, write down three things you're thankful for. It's been scientifically proven to boost your mood or whatever. And I would put stupid stuff like I'm thankful that we have clear blue skies in Texas. Like I would just put stuff that I'm like, I'm thankful that I have heat. Like I would just put stuff that like, if you really think about it, like, oh, wow. Like, no, actually I am really thankful for it. But in the moment I'm just like, oh my God, <sighs> I'm thankful that my, my nails were attached to my fingers, you know, like I would just put whatever and the whole gratitude thing is supposed to make you feel better. So anytime you do a manifestation exercise, if it's not making you feel better, if you're rolling your eyes as you do it and you've, tr you've done it a couple of times and you're always rolling your eyes, stop doing it. Like there, something needs to be tweaked, stop doing it because it's actually making you feel worse, which is counterproductive to working the law of attraction. You know, I, I feel, I feel loved. I wake up next to someone that I'm engaged to that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, that wants to spend the rest of my life with me. Um, I get to perform. I get to speak to people. I get to, I, I woke up to emails of so many people saying thank you and their gratitude. Everyone was like, there's, there's a lot happening and like someone just said, hey, you should read this. And I had read it before and I read it again. And again, this is something that if you don't believe it, you don't believe it. But hey, that's on you, not me. Just attract what you want and be on a frequency that's always high. But here's also the thing, Trisha, you have attracted wealth and fame into your life. You were not on a high frequency. <laughs> You were not on a high frequency when you attracted wealth and fame, but you knew at an early age, that's all you wanted. You wanted to be famous. You wanted to be rich and famous. You don't need to, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't like you need, your energy needs to match. If you want something, you will get, if you really want something and you have the means to achieve it, you will go get it. Right? So Trisha Paytas, uh, what means did she have? White, blonde, blue eyes. Okay. People need white, blonde, blue eyed people for many, many things in Hollywood. Um, yeah, I kind of look like Jessica Simpson. Oh, like you, I have big boobs. You know what I mean? Like she used what she had to get what she wanted. Oh, I don't care about being, I, I can act stupid online. That's fine. I'll, I'll act stupid online. Right. I'll, I'll insult people online. I'll insult whole groups of people. I'll make a mockery of this, this and that on like that doesn't bother my consciousness. I'll do that. And now you are rich and famous. You weren't on the right frequency. Right. And this is a mistake that law of attraction had me thinking. When I first was getting into law of attraction, I actually believed people who are rich and famous were good people. I act like all of them. I'm not saying there aren't any anymore. I'm, I'm saying I thought all of the, I thought like you have to be a good person. You don't have to be. You can be a horrible person and achieve the things that a good person wants to achieve. So that's why it's like, how come you, why aren't you looking at your own life and seeing how 
what you've distilled your philosophy down to actually isn't the only way life works. I am positive, just always. Um, and you'll only attract that. You'll only attract it. And really, like, just in the past 24 hours, again, the stuff that I've attracted to me, like, doesn't always happen overnight, but, like, in 24 hours, like, just insane amount of good has... And it's... But th that always happens to you. I don't know. Listen, I'm not in her personal life. I don't know. Like, I don't know what other extra things have happened, but we do know, um, as she's been problematic her entire career good things continue to happen to her I want that for me i don't want that for anyone seeing my tiktoks like and if that's how it has to be forever that's how it has to be forever but we are only attracting positive things we are only thinking positive thoughts only think positive thoughts only think positive things so this is the toxic positivity because that's not real like you cannot only think positive thoughts like you're not real you're a human being like human beings we were designed to think of worst case scenario so that we survive. Like you are denying your very nature. If you're going to say you only think positive thoughts and a lot of cults, a lot of cults use this mentality because they are, they're, they're trying to, and I'm not saying she's in a cult. I'm just using it as an example. They're trying to, it's like a brainwashing so that when you start having negative thoughts about the organization, you thwart those th thoughts away and you don't give them any, you don't pay them any mind. So the organization can keep running as it always has been. So I'm just saying this type of thinking, um, it goes against your very nature. It's not realistic. That That's not really what the law of attraction is telling you to do. And it can also lead to you into a dangerous situation. Focus on happy feelings. If you're feeling happy, you know, again, don't focus on anything negative, right? Like I, I work out, I feel good. I, you know, I have my, my, I'm, I'm healthy. I'm able to breathe. I'm able to, um, eat, you know, they're just, I'm, I feel good. I look good. I'm going to, it'll just like attract more of that, you know, you just got to constantly tell yourself that and feel it. I woke up this morning with positive feelings all together. That's the key thing. You have to actually feel it. So if you don't feel it, this won't work. Actually, you might make it worse. If you don't actually feel it, that's the key thing. So the key question is, do you actually feel it? If you are talking to, telling yourself you're not allowed to think or feel anything negative, are you sure you actually feel it? I'm like, wow, I get to perform. This is so cool. I see myself performing on a bigger stage. I see myself performing um, in front of the camera for other people's projects. Like I see it, you know, I make it, I do it for myself. And I got a little snippet for my last music video. And I was like, I just see this being a lot bigger than just YouTube. I see all of that. So that's good. She, what she's doing is visualization, which is good. That's healthy and that's normal. Focusing on the positive, obviously dealing with responsibility, but focusing with whatever thing that may seem like a challenge to you, turn it into a positive. There's that saying is not why is this happening to me, but what is this teaching me? That's the best way. And like, you will be taught a lesson in every situation that you think is hard ends up being like a really valuable lesson. And it's why you are where you are today and vice versa. And yeah, just manifest big things. Keep thinking positive thoughts. Um, I live in a beautiful house. I'm very grateful for it. I see myself designing other houses and homes and yeah, just keep manifesting, keep that positivity. It's a distraction. Um, it's like she's using it to distract herself from reality. This is why I, I'm just very weary. I'm just very suspicious of some, especially when somebody is suddenly getting into manifestation and stuff like this. I just feel very suspicious of it because people... I see people tend to use it as a distraction from their problems. Um, what, Tim Ferriss, actually, if you don't know Tim Ferriss, he wrote the book, Four Hour Work Week, which th that book like started this whole culture of hustle culture and why do you work a job? But Tim Ferriss, he, he, he's like this, but he's this, I want to hack. He wants to hack everything. He wants to hack life. He wants to hack his job. He wants to hack his money. He wants to hack his body. Um, and okay, whatever, cool dude. So he wrote, I don't remember what book it was, but he wrote about how he 
was about to file for bankruptcy, but he decided to just do law of attraction and ignore everything bad. And lo and behold, his company made so much money that he didn't have to file for bankruptcy anymore just in time. Like that doesn't happen to regular people. Like in real life, you you risk the IRS trying to put you in jail. Like I just feel like sometimes yes. this positivity stuff is tr- you are trying to distract yourself from addressing a real issue. And when you're trying to distract yourself from something that's real and important, I call that like being willfully delusional. I don't know what else to call that. Anyway, I've been talking for like over 30 minutes. So we don't have time to look at more of her manifestation stuff. But if you want me to talk more about it, I definitely will. Just leave a comment below and let me know. Um, by the way, if you watch to the very end, put some paw print emojis, those cute little paw print emojis. That way I know you were here. I am actually trying to, um, grow this channel, but I'm just experimenting with like, what do we like to talk about? What do we like to listen to? What do we like to explore? You know, like, I don't know. So as I'm doing this, I'm building parasocial relationships with the people who watch and I really appreciate all y'all and all of your insights and inputs. So don't stop. I want more and let me know if you want more of this or should we talk about something else? Thanks for watching. I am actually really stressed today. That's why I made this little video. (laughs) I'm actually really stressed, but now it's time to get back to dealing with work. So until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out. I don't. I did that like it's actually going to take the screen to black, but you're seeing my freaking screen. Okay. Anyway.